What kunu alado, Santi Smith, Dagalunyakwa, Nyungyats, Gayengehaga, Nibakohon Sode, Wagenyata, Oswege, Nidwageno. Greetings, everyone. My name is Santi, and my Hodenoshone name is Dagalunyakwa, which means picking up the sky in Gayengeha, the Mohawk language. I'm here in my home community of Six Nations and happy to invite you into our community. I am a multidisciplinary artist and I am the artistic director of Gahawi Dance Theater. Gahawi means to carry in Gayengeha and we are located in Six Nations and in Dagalondo, also known as Toronto. First and foremost, I'm an artist. To be an indigenous artist means to me that I am able to create and share stories and imagery that come from the source of Ongwehoen Neha. This is the collection of philosophies, teachings, practices, songs, dances, language, ceremonial cycles, ways of seeing and experiencing the world that is specifically Haudenosaunee. And my role as artist is to be a transformer of time and space, to share embodied storytelling, and to be a dreamer. I choose to represent Indigenous stories, stories that are underrepresented in society at large. I pretty much enjoy every aspect of the artistic process from the initial seed of an idea to performing in a large scale in production, uh, touring around the world. But really throughout that whole entire process, what keeps me inspired and engaged in wanting to continue to be an artist is aligning with the creative natural force that exists everywhere in the living world. Our ancestors understood this, that we are a part of nature. We are a part of the flow, the creative flow energy. And um, when I'm working in the land, particularly for land-based creation, that uh, relationship and connection between being rooted into the earth and uplifted into sky is really what uh, is inspiring. And I'm passionate about finding those moments where I can make these embodied connections to land. Montana, what inspired you to become an artist? The future is the decisions that we make today, that we make now. They will impact seven generations into the future. So we were taught that the decisions that we make today will impact our great, 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 great grandchildren or grand nieces and grand cousins. Uh, so that's really important. We predict our future. 